So we decided a couple of months ago to position Panerai as a brand which is exciting in terms of new products, but also in terms of opening the doors to experiences. Why? Because we believe that Panerai is a brand which can demonstrate its capacity to uh, uh, emerge our customers, our best customers, in what the brand is doing at its best, which is the world of water, the world of sea, uh, which as I say very often, above the sea, below the sea, on the sea, but all what can be associated to the sea world because the roots of the brand is about the sea world. So we offer this year three key experiences. One is associated to uh, our two ambassadors. Uh, the first one is the Marina Militare, is why we put Panerai back to what the brand exists for, which is uh, supporting the Marina Militare, which are the uh, Italian commandos. Uh, for which 33 limited editions are going to be uh, produced and for which you are associated to a two days training with these commandos in Italy, in one of the sacred platform in Italy. The second one is associated to uh, one of our ambassadors, which is Guillaume Neri, which is a world champion in free diving. And uh, this gentleman is going to host in his house in Tahiti uh, 19 of our good customers who ordered the watch and are going to have some diving and uh, uh, being able to dive in one of the nicest spots in diving in the world and, and being part of the uh, also uh, water where you can see uh, the wharfs, the, uh, which is one of the biggest, uh, as you know, fish in the world. The third one is how to walk with Mike Horn in one of the most dangerous part of the world, which is Groenland, one of the coldest, where you need some training to be able to face the tough conditions. And the three experiences are made to test your watch in some of the normal conditions for which our watches have been developed. Well, first of all, Mike was already a big fan of the brand before being an ambassador like he is today. So, Mike, started to have our watches about 15 years ago and has done some of the most incredible of his experiences like climbing the K2, like uh, walking 5,000 kilometers in Groenland, in the North Pole, in the South Pole with our watch. The only mechanical instruments he was wearing with him during these difficult and challenging experiences was its Panerai. And today each of his Panerai has a special story because each of his watches have accompanied him in one of the most incredible experiences the guy has ever made in his life. And he is often telling us that he has been in many parts of the world where nobody has been before. We are preparing, by the way, one of the most incredible experiences also next year associated to uh, one of the material which makes Panerai very exceptional and you will discover it when uh, we will unveil it at the SIHH 2020. All what we do with Mike is associated to Submersible. Why? Because we have positioned Submersible as a watch which is able to accompany you in the toughest conditions of your sports experiences, daily life. So Guillaume is a very uh, charming guy who is uh, very open to make us share his passion for free diving. Um, and he has been developed a couple of movies without mentioning a couple of million of pictures he has been doing, which is how to romance his sport activity. Because he is in, a, in, a, in an activity which is not easy to transmit in its beauty, in its emotions. And the way he has been doing movies lately the way he is taking pictures and he is very much supported in that exercise by his wife who is herself also a photographer um, is able to depict the world in which he is, uh, in his living in a very beautiful way and uh, uh, working with him is also giving us a lot of lessons in terms of, uh, in terms of humility. Uh, the first thing he is telling you when he is diving is that you are not necessarily in a friendly world. You have to pay attention to where you dive because it can possibly be a hostile environment. And uh, the two personalities which have been together at the SIHH in Geneva are together 
uh, great guys in each of their disciplines. Yes, this part is not the most popular sport in, in Switzerland. The fact we have signed with, uh, with him, first it's a great honor, because in the same way, we like to, to sign contract with known people, also because they have Panera in their heart before entering a business relationship. And like uh, Guillaume, like uh, 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 Mike, uh, MS Doni is, is a guy who was already a big fan of our, of our watch brand before starting to be much more closely associated to our brand. And we saw it because we saw magazines. And uh, we are covering all the different magazines on celebrities who are wearing our watches. And we have a lot of celebrities who are wearing our watches and MS Doni was one of them. So I will have the great pleasure this week to meet personally with him and seeing him playing cricket in Chennai in India. And uh, which for me is a major privilege, first to be back to India and second to see one of the most emblematic guy in India playing in front of 50,000 of, of all his fans and uh, I look forward to this event with, uh, with great honor and great pleasure. Panerai is a brand whose claim is Laboratorio di Ide and the Laboratorio di Ide concept is how our brand can push the boundaries of our industry. And we have a lot of engineers in our company which are actively working to work on new materials. Materials we don't have today on our wrist, but will be the material of the future because it's lighter, because it's, uh, it's uh, uh, scratch proof, because it's anti-breakable. And the BMG, for example, is a material which is anti-magnetic, anti-breakable and anti-scratchable. So it has a lot of specifications which meet a lot of the problems we see today in our watch industry. Um, this laboratory concept is something which is very deep in the heart of the brand. And uh, that's why we intend on a regular basis to come with new materials to enrich our assortment. It's one of the most fascinating country in the world. I don't say that because you are Indian. Um, by its magnitude. You know, you know, I come from a, a country where we have only 8 million people and you arrive suddenly in a democracy which is 1.3 billion people, okay, which is already a lot. And you see something which I'm always fascinated when I arrive in India is the number of young people where you know that in the future of the world is there because the IT business, because the future industries, today it's IT, tomorrow it will be fashion. Tomorrow it will be other industries, the car industry, which is booming in India and towards electric cars and all the new industries, new trends which are coming in India, which will not stay only in India, which will invade in one week, in one year, in 10 years, the rest of the world. So we pay a lot of attention of what is happening there because by culture, because by uh, knowing what has been the luxury industry, for the last 100 years, there is this culture towards uh, luxury. And uh, it's uh, why I will come very often in India to follow what's happening. And we are very proud to have already three stores which are very successful with some of our good partners in India. First, it requires a lot of discipline. Even though it looks fun, and it is fun, um, you have schedule, target, uh, deadline uh, on your normal business to conduct because you have all the emails and different issues to, to cover in the rest of the world. So it's like you move your office with you when you are traveling. Um, so it's a lot of discipline but it's, it's a, always a very rich experience. So to be able to expose yourself to as much rich, richness as possible, be as much organized on the other side uh, to make sure that you have a flawless route when you are traveling. My iPad is number one. I have my books, my travel books. I have for tomorrow a big book about India, uh, which I hope during my trip between Dubai and Delhi, I will be able to look. You know, it's very important because I will meet Indians tomorrow. I meet people from UAE today. In three days, I will meet people from Qatar. It's very important to know what's happening in your country before you land. The country, I don't know. You know, going to Chennai, and I have no idea how the, the city looks like. But going to Chennai is a very good story for me. I was in Costa Rica this year. 
for the first time in my life, which was I was very excited because it's a new country where you meet with a new approach of doing business, a new approach of living. So Costa Rica, South Africa is one of my favorite destinations, and I've been a couple of times there uh, because of many reasons: the light, the people, the animals, and. As the most fascinating city for me is New York. And I know it looks very boring because many people will tell you the same, but as a, as a human being, the vibration you have in New York to enrich me personally and for my business is definitely the number one city in which I love to travel. I would like to go Tibet, number one, um, in South America, Chile, and the last one in Petra in Jordan my partner. Thank you.